um, I just decided to come here in church to do the last reflection. I think it's, uh, it's good to, uh, to be here. The statue of St. Joseph is over there. Unfortunately, you can't come, uh, you can't see it. I didn't want to mess up with the camera. But uh, um, so in this uh, past uh, nine days, we, eight days, today is the ninth day of the Novena, we have looked at uh, different aspects of St. Joseph. We have looked at uh, Joseph as a simple man uh, I hope that the simplicity of this uh, uh, husband, of this uh, betrothed man before becoming a husband, of this father, uh, putative father, not biological, father of Jesus, uh, may help us to, to become simple. His simplicity may talk to us, may make us simple. And uh, being able to work with God's plan like he did, we looked at Joseph as a custodian of life. Joseph who, was, uh, who had a mission to protect life. How many fathers today, uh, unfortunately, uh, don't, uh, don't do that? Not because they are bad, because they have never been taught. They have never, never seen it maybe done. How many uh, young men today do not defend life like they should? How many young men uh, are not able to be custodians of life? And I'm referring to men, the male figure, the father figure, because Joseph is a man, he's a father. But uh, of course, uh, you, we can talk about uh, the mother figure another time. We did in the past, but Joseph can help us men uh, for, uh, to, 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 to fulfill our vocation as custodians of life in many ways. And you women, uh, should pray for us that God may help us to to be that uh, for those around us. We saw Joseph as a humble man, the humility of Joseph to accept uh, to be explained actually or not explained through a dream. That how many times we have dreams and we go like oh, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Joseph was supposed to interpret that dream. In fact, the next uh, thing was Joseph, the man of dreams. Uh, Joseph was supposed to understand God's will, the will about the Son of God through a dream. <laughs> so uh, talking about humility there, you know, to understand, to have the eyes clear, openly, clearly open enough to see what was the right thing to do for, for that uh, baby Jesus who became the who, who is the Son of God and became uh, the, our Redeemer on the cross. We saw as Joseph, a man of history, especially from the Gospel of Mark, how uh, the Gospel re reveals us and shows us the descendants, the, um, the lineage from where Joseph come, from where then uh, Jesus come, David, and David who was a sinner, uh, an adulterer, and yet God chose to become to send his son through uh, the descendants, the lineage of an adulterous man, but a humble man. David may have sinned, but he was very humble to accept his sin. And then at the end, we saw Joseph as a man of the sacrament, men who uh, understood uh, the importance, not so much of family, but much more, the importance of God's presence, in the midst of his relationship with Mary, enlightened and enriched by God himself, made flesh in the life of Jesus. So let us ask his intercession as we pray, uh, Joseph, Saint Joseph, uh, to intercede for us and to help us and to guide us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray using the words from Pope Francis' apostolic letter dedicated to St. Joseph. We need only ask St. Joseph for the grace of graces, our conversion. Let us now make our prayer to him. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. You are my prayers. I hope you can pray for me, for us, for the parish, in our needs, and so we pray for each other. God bless you.